Okay, as you can see, we've moved the door, and I've showed you that you undo the screws first. You get your saw up the side here, and you cut off the plastic uh, inserts, the, um, the wall plugs that go through into the wall, because they remain through the door. So we've taken the door out, we've taken the measurement of the door, transferred it across to this side here, and I'll put a pencil mark down this side, pencil mark down that side, and I'm going to cut that wall out. I'm going to use the original bricks because they're imperial, they're an imperial brick, they're a big brick. So we're going to transfer the ones cut out into this doorway. But first, because it's close together, I've decided to chop this side out first, toothing, and when that's toothed, I'll disc this down there, because there's a lot of knocking here. And as I take the bricks out, I'm going to build them back into here. So this is the project on Saturday morning. Uh, it's cold, it's February, and so we've got to really crack on. Uh, I'm on my own today, my labour is away. But I'll get this job done, hopefully, today. Okay, I'm going to cut the rest out. I've started this side. I'm going to show you what I'm doing here with each joint. If you need your goggles, Mask, some earmuffs, hard hat. Okay, we've cut out, well, I've disced with a disc cutter, a nine inch cutter, each brick is disced. And now we've got to chop them out. Each of these headers have to come out. But I might use my drill to drill down the joints there. And that'll give that'll help that joint to come out. But um, now we're going to chop them. destroy these bricks because these will be seen as you put your other brick into it. So we disc down and then we chop across. Also you can crack it through like that. Okay, when you've knocked out your toothing, like we've done, time for a cup of tea. However, we've got to take this now down past the damp course and take out these bull nosed steps because they go right through and we'll take the damp through. So we've got to take them out, form a cavity again on the inside, and build up from the top. There's the original damp course, and so we'll put a new damp course in across create the cavity and brick it up and when we get near the top we'll take out the old room. is create the cavity and so we've got to chop out these bricks that have come across as you can see here because that's bridging the gap there and so what we've done is chop them out like this creating the cavity and on this side the same as you can see we're chopping them out so when we brick in we've got the cavity
Now, now we've taken the bricks out, we need to dress these bricks down. As you can see, there's mortar on, and we need to clean it off like this. I'm simply using my scotch hammer, it's got the teeth in, and my trusty trowel. We can use that. This with your trusted bolster chisel. You've got two bolster chisels, look. A wide one and a thinner one. Use the wider one. You can chisel it off like this. While you're doing this, always remember to wear your goggles. Very useful. Okay, we've got a line set up so that we're following each course and each toothing in. As you can see the first tooth in there, and now we're building with the old bricks that we dressed off earlier. Damp course that we've used like this on each side. 